So guys, we're using the Hoover 6 AAA 160 Whisper 1600, but we've got a special guest. I'm sure you guys know who. Hello. <laughs> it's me again. Charlie again. <laughs> Watch machine guy. We did our usual. We headed to Kingston and then thought we'd come back so we yeah. could interact with the machine. Yeah. And you're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. You can go in low if you want. Perfect, awesome. Press door release. This is your first time using one of these? Uh, yes, it is actually, yeah. You've probably seen one? Or, you know, you've probably never seen one in person. I've never seen one in person. I've probably seen... I'm trying to think of, there might have been one in British Heart Foundation, possibly. Not this, perfectly. Oh, probably like a... But definitely one with this sort of drum in it, at least. Probably an extra. Yeah, probably. That's where you might You see more of the extras in VHS than these. I've never actually yeah. seen one of these in VHF. No. Had the dryer on once. Yeah. Uh, and then you want the DAS, is it? Yes, I have. I find the, the door in it, you've got to lift it slightly before it actually... Yeah, I have to do that with the WM73. Oh, those ones always... Because that I never had to, weirdly. The, the crack in it is insane. The knife I throw away. I don't like doing that with the knife because you've got to lift the door and I think, snap. Crack, cool pop. Uh, yeah. No pre-wash? No, no pre-wash. Pre I haven't actually used a pre-wash. I'm going to actually do a video. My next ta No, towel wash will be in the meter, but I'll do, I'll do a sheets washing. That's fine. Like Better wash. Um, do you have any like, large-scale tablets, do you? Uh, I throw the soda crystals in now. Oh, nice. Just yeah. actually like a little scoop of that will do. Cool. Yeah, no, yeah no, I've, just kind of... I've stopped you. I am going to try and get one that you put on the thing. Is that a good amount? Yeah, go for it. Cool. And they condition that. Yeah. Awesome. I like it. Okay. That has lasted me long. Yeah, because I saw that last time, didn't I? You saw it last time, the last time was it was August, when we did the... Um... Yeah. yeah, that's the one, yeah. I like this one, I like this one. Uh, I'll just... Every time you come in, either a, a new machine's come in, or something's been sold. That's literally now what it yeah, is literally, like. Literally, yeah. That'll do perfect, yeah. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Ego is like, one of those. It is, yeah. I'll tell you what, shall we try a little something? Go on. Shall, shall we do... Because I know it's not a full load, but shall we try the 6 kilo? Put the 6 kilo wash on that. Yeah. I'd like to see what it'll do. That's if it doesn't drop the time. Yeah. Um, so, program 9, then nine, Micron's yeah. 40. Oh, only 40, nice. Yeah, uh, I've, start, I've made sure I do that for colours. Oh, yeah. done and fading. Oh, you've got to wait a little bit for it to come on. Two hours later. <laughs> and it takes like 15 minutes for it to actually sense the load and drop it. So yeah. it's quite... It's about the same as a modern one, really, to be fair. The meter's so the only one that does that. Do that, and I'm pretty sure if you, can, you probably could select... You could do it extra rinse, you could, yeah. actually. Do you want to do that as well? Yeah, yeah? if we take this express wash off, yeah. then we we'll just do that. Yeah, oh, good That should increase the level now. Fantastic. Shall we yes. press start? Yeah. Awesome. Setting wash parameters, please wait. Maybe Hoover invented sand. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It was made in Britain to start with, so... Yeah. And off we go. I've got to say though, even though it's a bit of an annoying thing that it does go to midnight every time, but it's quite good to see how true the time is. Yeah. In that way. The other thing is it can do, well actually, if it's back to midnight, it tells you how long it's actually been washing for. That's what I mean. So yeah. I can look at it and be like, right, so washing for 30 minutes, I know when it's going to spin now. Yeah. Ow. You smack the fridge. No need to say anything. No. I wish it had a drum like this. I think that would be really And you know what's funny? If you look at the seal on this side, you see yeah. there's a little cutout for a jet. Yeah. But yet none of these models in the UK had a jet. No, because it was... Do these... Are these the same seals from the previous generation? No. Oh, okay. The, so the formers were different, but they had a jet, the Quattro. Yeah. That's what I was thinking This of, is yeah. essentially what a Quattro is. Yeah. But the export models of these had jets. That's so funny. There is a... In Poland, I think these are called Hoover City. Ah, okay. There's a chrome door version, 1000 RPM, mm -hmm. and it has a jet to it. So funny. Yeah. It's like, it, yeah. for instance, you know with um, the hot points, you know how the, in abroad the they have a, but the old ones, you know like my WM34 that I had, you know how they had a tetradial um, instead. G's, G General Electric models, isn't it? Yeah. But there, there was even some hot point ones, I think. Oh. Yes, there's, there's a WM11 export, which That's is actually yeah. an Aquarius style, but not That's 95. Right, yeah. No, yeah. Guys, I know there is a dark shirt now, I'm just putting it in there to freshen up. Yeah, it's my new pyjama shirt, so I thought I'd stick it in there. It's over 40 anyway, so... It's only 40, that's why. 
And it's a colours detergent, so it should. The thing is, the refresh cycle on this is 50. That's what I like. I love that. 50 degrees. It's brilliant. Yeah. It's quite ahead of its time, really. It feels very quietly, this machine. I think that's the hot water, isn't it? That's it. Hot water. I think it's doing the hot water purely now. Yeah. Just to kind of get out to temperature quickly, isn't it? Yeah. I love the motor sound on this. I know. When I first got it, I was like, what motor is that? I was thinking. It does sound very much like one of those engines. Because what, uh, what the Ariston Margarita That's what I heard when I found it. Because of when I was younger, when my uh, next door neighbour at the time, when we lived in Twickenham, um, they had a Intercity, the W123. Oh, I saw that one everywhere. Else. Yeah, it was such a. It was one of those ones that were everywhere, and it was one of the ones with the uh, Philco drum. Oh, that one, yeah. Yeah. It was the weird bit, of course it had the same moment. Where do you think everyone I saw had the inset drum to it? I don't remember yeah. seeing them in the inset uh, Phil program. Yeah, it was always either the 123s or the 103s that had them. The 121s probably didn't have them. No, I don't think they did. Right, so they must have been 121s that I saw them. No, it wasn't 123s. Really, that is a very rare model, the 121. It is, yeah. Like I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I think it's in the Yeah, it's in the Yeah, it's in the Yeah, it's in the Sit back chair if you want it. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah cheers. We forgot about that. Right! Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, but I opened the door first. You need to know where that was coming in. Are you alright? Aww. Oh, good chair. Don't what? I, oh, I didn't tell you that when I brought the 9530 back in, the first day I used yes. it, Mom actually got scared when it went to spin. Oh, it's just in the air when it went to spin. <laughs> it's still... Oh, bless. It is one of those things, isn't it? Because, of course, when you've got... Guys, right, so we've just heated to 40 now. Pretty much no time. Oh, we are doing the fast tumbles as well. This is the kind of machine that's nice to view from far, because you get the screen and the... Yeah, absolutely. ...the lights. Because there's so much going on up there. It's so... I love how the display's at the top, not on the fan yeah. Yeah. It's good, because especially if you're looking up, you don't have to then bend down, look at everything. It's an angled design. Yeah. You've got all your options up there, you just need to know where the time I can't remember what the Candy version of this was, but Candy were like Bosch and Siemens. Hoover were yeah. like Siemens, Candy was like Bosch. It was like mm. the, they were the higher end models. Yeah. yeah that distribution, I love how it does that. That's nice. Oh yeah, because it's got a second heat phase, isn't it? Or... Yeah. Okay, I've on the first intermediate spin now. I'm hoping that hoodie doesn't go out of balance or anything. That won't spin that. That will not spin that. It yeah, does that. Yeah. I think what it's to do is to fasten everything to the drum. In case you've got something rolling around at the last minute. Right. I don't know. I, that's my only guess is what it does. I'd be very surprised that spins that. Okay. Let's right, go for it. It's one of those machines, because probably the sound insulation, it gets quieter as it goes up. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. When you have that's a lot nice. of, I absolutely love having it like that. That is beautiful. That's what I do when I actually film that up close, I just... That's a good shout, yeah. You get a bit more of the inside of them. I'm one of the only people who does... See, most people today now, I think, with the way they film, and I do understand probably why they do it, they just leave the camera in front of the machine for the whole cycle. I yeah. suppose editing does take a lot of time. That will be oh, honest, yeah. it does. Absolutely. I must be one of the fair few still that just do the quick shots. Yeah, I... Tr 
what? It depends on the storage of my phone. I think you just do individual clips, really, isn't it? At the That's moment, what I yeah. used to do. Just at the moment, because I can't, I don't really have the time to really put them together. That's it. So all the intermediates are 800 on the cotton cycle. What year is this machine for? 2001. Yeah, of course. No, November. November. Cool. Yeah, no, it's just. So if it goes by the date code, it's 0147. So I, that, yeah. that is, as far as I know, a candy, you date code it that way. Okay, yeah, I'll get you in. It yeah. makes sense, because yeah, the 6 came out in 2000, and this would have been one of the later models, because when there's that advert for the 6, this model's not in it. That's alright, I can always get that as well. I can always get it just to slide down anyway. If you've got a full load in there, it takes forever to slow down. Oh, I bet. Sounds amazing. Oh, if you hit the manual button on that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to that. And then, I love this. Watch. Catches it the last minute as it's slowing down. That. I do wish it did a, a spin from all the way down. Yeah. On the first rinse, guys, a bit more of a level to it. That's perfect for that size load, though. Yeah, absolutely. We're having pizza. <laughs> yeah. Well, considering that's going to do four rinses for that now. Yeah. <laughs> Christ. Bone apple teeth. Um, I thought I'd try this experiment out by doing the towels, like a full load of towels, on um, the wall spin. It did not like that. What spin was that in the... Lindo. Lindo. What's, is that like this? Ramps up fast? Yeah. It's 1200. Oh, oh my god, yeah. No, I didn't like that. It actually cancelled the spin. See on the like the AL150, you can select the wall spin separately. This you've got to let it go through the whole cycle. Yeah. To be fair, it's quite lenient with unbalanced loads at some times. Yeah, absolutely. Small items at one, it will it will fight. I'll tell you what this kind of happened, like, reminds me of, if it had like a merge between um, Bosch and Becker. What, the, what the spin ramper. Yeah. It's like got Bosch, but slower than Bosch. Oh. But it's got Becker's kind of slow ramper. Yeah. Yeah. Because it does like a little, yeah. Like this, but for instance, uh, on, the, on the Becker I've got, it does like a little boost from 600 to 8. Yeah, because does your Becker go into spin progressive? Um, yes. Does not on the old ones. It's good. <laughs> like the ones you take off. What's that? Like the um, not the Eco okay, Care. The range after that. Oh, I don't know exactly which one you mean. The one where it had almost like that kind of old gen Bosch drum kind of thing. That's it. With the big oh, chunky doll. Those used to ramp up really quick. Yeah. 
Have you tried the daring daily quick cycle on it yet? Yeah. Oh. Only one stop block. Nothing. Oh, nothing. I was gutted. Yeah. You have the last one off? And that's yours. Oh. You're saving just for me. Yes. <laughs> I'm good like that, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> that means we had a half for each then. That was... Yeah, we should divide it right down the middle. Yeah. A half. That was perfect. So, I love it if it did what Bosch do. Kicks in with the uh, spray rinse. Oh, I'm there. Absolutely. Like a little cut, especially if it had like a cascade wheel. I do wonder though, if Candy hadn't taken Hoover over, what they would have produced. I, I always want to know Same that. Same Yeah. I've started the light syndrome now, what a lot of people have. They'll video the machine, you've got this huge light going across the door. Thanks <laughs> for saying about using the 6kg. There you are. He's, he's tricked the machine into doing more than it should. Yeah. That is rinse too now. Just says rinsing on that. Yeah. Doesn't it say something different from final rinsing? Final, final rinsing also. Uh, nice. I like that actually changes. Yeah, so do I. And then the final spin says final spin, I like that. I don't like to just say spin. I'd quite like if it actually tells you it's, that's the final spin. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, it's the door that creaks on this. Third intermediate spin. Yes. It, it, it gets lost in the distribution and it kicks spin. No, that's not going to. I guarantee that ain't going to spin that. <laughs> He's pulling his foot you. up. So you're pulling your foot up because the machine's going to jump out. <laughs> I don't want toast to be broken. <laughs> oh, oh. I remember when I was watching the throne, it did that. It did that little kick up and it sort of banged inside a little. I was like, oh, okay. Very surprised if that was to spin that. Go, go, gadget six. There you go. Oh. Oh, it did like a Maloney there. Wow, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> like a proper like service gem. Yeah. And the gems did that, no? Yeah. Yeah, because they distribute so fast one way, the motor clicks and it whacks it back the other way because it doesn't slow down in time. No. Surge of power that goes the moment the minute it starts going. So nice. I one day will do. I don't think which wash has done one yet. I will do a single lighting test in this. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. And see how sensitive the balance sensor is. I've noticed on these the drum moves back and forth more than side to side. Yeah, yeah. You one. can easily bang the drum on the front um, compared to moving it side to side on this. I swear to I'll get my Snoozy used to do it. For well, the Lindo? No, oh, not the, the Lindo, oh, the, the, um, um, my first one. The Because the drum's actually going like that on this, it's not going yeah. side to side really. I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, no, it was the um, Aquacycle I had, the first one I had. Absolutely. Well, I always thought they had quite stiff suspensions, those. Mm. They do, but at the same well, time. Well, what Bendix wasn't. Right. That was. It is reassuring to know, well, it might be just because of the floor this is on. Yeah. It is reassuring to know this machine isn't going to like walk out. No, definitely not. If it does, you're like, oh no, the shock absorbers are going to run it or something. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be going any time soon to be fair. Seems to be. No, these ones seem to be fine. This we know. I've not heard any signs on it to hear. No. I've heard the suspension knock a few times, but I just think it's just because of, when I've done a heavy load in it. Well, actually, you've got to think it's going to be 21 this year. Yeah. It's scary, this is basically a classic machine. Yeah. But it's so modern. I always think of a machine that after 18 years old is a vintage machine, personally. Personally. I've always thought 30 years. 
Yeah. Like my 95 is definitely vintage. Yeah. The A3060 is still vintage, but it's approaching antiques so that is. Yeah. It's just literally like only a tiny bit of movement. It's amazing. Do the final rinse feel a little bit more than the rest, or is it just. I the think same? it's a set level. I don't know what the pressure switch on this is like. I don't know if it's like two stages or something. Hmm. It's like hot points, isn't it? Yeah. It's got an, the thing is, it's not got an annoying whine to it. No, it's got quite a nice kind of. But I bet if you ripped out all the sound insulation or thing, it'd be really loud. Oh yeah. Like the A0150, the, the, <laughs> the fast spin model of this one was like, that's really wide. Oh god, I'm going to go. I would love that you have a, you need a lot of room for this. I'd love to have every model of the 6 range in order. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Just kind of Generation 1. If you had the amount of power to be able to get them all going at once, I'd have every model of the 6 range up to this. <sighs> including the washer dryers. I'd get the washer dryers. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah, third rinse. You know the final rinse because it will come to a complete stop before it goes to the rinse. Because uh, then yes. it's got to adjust the... Yeah. And it fills very differently. It actually fills much slower on the final rinse. It's weird. It's doing distribution tumbles on the rinse. It doesn't always do that. I wonder if it's because how light the load is. Might be. I tend to throw quite heavy things in that. Mm. My duvet is so thin. It's a 10 tog. Right. Yeah. I'll put it in the meal, it actually tumbles the loop, I was like, wow, this is crazy to see that. Because I put a 13.5 tog in it all and it just, you know, it's like the door's about to come off it. What's the tog that I put in my, in the WD86 over? What? Oh my god, wow. I'm just trying to think what the tog is, for it. it was from it, I'm just trying to think. But it did it really well. Because what I did was I, I, I did a pre-rinse to soak it. It's a good idea. And then I put it on the Superwash 60. Which does a higher level anyway. Right. So. I love the Superwash 60 on those. They are good. Yeah, so I let it drain now, get all the, and then I put it on the Superwash cycle and it just did it so well. Nice. Superwash, is that basically Eco 60? No, the, uh, no, that's actually meant to be a, a, like a heat retaining 60, I think. So what's that, A Class 60 in a way? Something. No, the Cotton 60 was the A Class one. Right. Fourth intermediate spin now, and the final one. You don't often get to say that with this. No. I think my water quality has got something to do with the rinsing. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be smooth. Uh, no. Yeah, I think it will be. I think it will spin that. No, it should do. I'd like to put a heavy sofa throw in there, like, re like the one that nearly destroyed my WMA64. I'd like to put some of that in there to see how that is. Oh god, I'll never forget that. I'm sure that spin hit the door a lot. Yeah. I just remember seeing the machine come flying out about three foot. Ooh. And then it decided after that spin, oh, I'm unbalanced, I better stop. Because <laughs> you said no, finally. I'm just like... It spins like the performance. Yeah. It's got that, it does that pre-spin and then it actually starts ramping up. Mm. Do this like a Saturday or something. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I can imagine you do. At least I know it can be going somewhere good. Yeah. Okay, so for those who have forgotten about this machine, I have told everyone the update. It's going to Charlie. It is. Because yes. everyone still thinks that, like, it, they don't. Some people don't actually know that it's gone. That it's still here. I just need to crimp the wire back on the motor. That's the only thing that's come off it. Yeah, it sounds like it's one of the carcass for the WM34 I've got the run for it. The carcass, you're like me, you had the carcass of the 95300W out Yep, that's right. And the one thing I forgot to say from it was the speed module. Because I could have fitted that to my one yeah. and got more aggressive ramp ups. Oh well, someone I've been scrapping on one now and taking out the module off it. <laughs> I'm in the motor as well. 
he has got a knife. C set motors, I think, are my favourite kind of like G C motors are my favourite. Mm. But I think C set motors have got a very nice sound for them. Yeah, absolutely. It's just got that kind of there's just something about it. The funny thing is, it seems like it's less powerful than the one the Ariston had. The one the Ariston had really like because well, their programming is very different. Yeah, it's all about what the power is going to the motor, isn't it, from the board. Ariston, I think, Ariston such instant, I think they just put full power straight into their motors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because their spins were like, get up to speed as quick as possible. Yeah, especially when you saw those bursts. Right? The and the final spin, where it does that like, boost from 600 to 1, I was like, yeah. What? I was like... Because when I got it, I didn't know that Ariston and Inset were the same. So I thought Ariston had their own programming. Mm. And I got it, I was like, oh my god, I remember the Inset doing that. That's the thing, some of them had that program, but there are two different... I've, I've noticed there's actually two different versions. Who came first? Was it Ariston? I'm trying to think. Inset <laughs> copied Ariston, I'm sure. That's right, no. Ariston copied Inset, because the Margaritas came out... Oh. Margaritas came out in two, those margaritas came out in 2000. The, Hence the name Margarita 2000. There we are. That's coming, so now it's going to the final rinse because it's... Yeah. Yeah, hence the name So the... So the non-evolution models, as I tell people, the dial control ones, came out the Indusus. Were they... They were later than their son. Yes, Indusus sort of copied Ariston, because I'm sure the Ecotense models came out after the Ariston square, the squarish kind of margarita the one. Yeah, I think so. The enhanced models and whatnot. Because I'm pretty sure, because the W123 range has slightly different programming to the Ariston A1635. I think it's a case of like, so like Candy and Hoover. Yeah. I think in the set must have been the premium ones. Yeah. Where they had all the, the options built into the programming, whereas Ariston you had to select everything. Yeah, exactly. But like this, Candy, although this is weird because you have to tell it to do a 6 kilo watt, despite the fact it's to the 6. Yeah. It would still do that full 16 minutes, but it would just distribute. For drain? Yeah. That's what... My quote was to do it, I hated it. It's like with meters, you've got drain and spin. But actually, in the older ones, you had separate rinse, and starch was a separate program. Yeah. Now it's separate rinse slash starch. Yeah. It's a shame you can't actually put a date to these machines. That like meters are the only ones you can't actually. Yeah. You, you have to ask specifically, probably message Mila and ask them to you give them your serial number, or whatever. Yeah. They'll know when it left the factory, or left the warehouse, that's what they can tell me. So they know mine left in January 2009, and that's mm. when we got it. Oh Christ, I've had this in 13 years. That's insane. It's my sister's 14th birthday tomorrow. Damn me. I need to get a birthday card. Oh, not yeah. good. You haven't got it. <laughs> I'll do that one on my way back, I think. Oh yeah. There'll be a few shops that are still open. Oh yeah, probably will be after. Because it's got a, this has got a slightly lower pitch at 1600 than the Margarita did. Yeah. Come on, be smooth. Okay. I suppose once the walk for that, though, it might. Oh, I don't know. That might actually rebalance that. Probably. If it balances more than twice, then I normally just stick it on program 29. Yeah. I think the balancing is slightly less sensitive on the actual spin program. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see that spinning that. There you go. Yeah. You hear that click it does and you just know. Yeah. The motor judders on this sometimes. You know, it's got a habit of doing that. I don't know if it's just the whole... Six range did that, or if it's just Marlon's got a problem. I think the motor on my WM71 does that. Probably, yeah. My WM73 didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. WD73. Perfect, there we go. There technically was one, WDM73 there was. Yeah, which was the. Um... Oh, that is not going to spin that at all. That is just a no go. It's that bloody hoodie in there. <laughs> bloody hoodies. The only reason I don't like putting hoodies in there because it. If that spins that, that's going to be funny. Well, considering the spins it's done at 1600 recently, I'm like... Oh. 
the thing is, it will go through the whole distribution phase, unlike some machines will cut out the minute it's severely unbalanced. Mm. Yeah. Which is the same thing that my uh, my Lindo will do sometimes. But it'll do that little kind of extra bit before it goes into spin, that little kind of that little boost. The faster than distribution. Mila, on the other hand, will. Sometimes it will get to the point where you think it's going to spin and it clicks off. Yeah. But I know with the distribution on Mila's, it's the last two seconds mm. that I call it the point of no return. Yeah. At that point, it's too late for the machine to decide if it's balanced. So if you get something rolling around at the last minute, it kicks up, so you know the whole thing's going to go bang. Oh, that reminds me of Jack Cox's video of his WRA 48. With the little mop head going that was around. It, yeah. It, I went all the way up to 800 like that. I was like, I think it went faster. I think it went to about 1,000 before. And it went and this thing just goes whack. I was like, okay. Uh, bye then. <laughs> That's Damn. going a lot back and forth, but it might, it might spin that. See how it goes. Seven minutes. So it holds at seven minutes until it can't. Then after that, I think it restricts it to 1,200. Go, go, gadget, hoover, six. Oh my god. <laughs> Shall we put on the thing you probably Let me see, if it drops down to six minutes. I'm just checking that I actually pressed start. Oh, five. Right. <laughs> Most of the time I end up putting on a... Not most times, there's been a few times I've done that, stuck on a hard I remember sending a photo to all my friends of this machine and I said, I'm watching my new favourite soap, it's called Hoover Nation Street. <laughs> and then some people are like, oh my god, there are others. Oh, that's bad. Now if that doesn't spin, that's just being fussy. How do you balance the cable? <laughs> oh, nice. Look at that. Beautiful. My balancing techniques are the best. You better balance than that's got. I can't balance a load of... Hoodies. T-shirts. What?! That wasn't even that unbalanced! <laughs> okay, I've not had it do this before. I've not had it put on the set for spinning it. Beeping of that plug is annoying me. Does that mean the surge guard has activated on it at some point? Must have been. Oh come on, I've watched this hoodie before now. Yeah, it's a surge on it. No. No. If that spins that and didn't spin the previous thing, that's going to be hilarious. It is one of those machines that will do that though. It will balance something, rebalance it, and you say it ain't going to spin that, and it actually does. Oh. Yeah, like the WD6 Pro. Yeah. Spin, like, 10 minutes run of balance, and spins it, unbalanced. You can hear that click up the phone. What's it? At least it doesn't do the hot point style balancing where it just throws it all back into distribution. Yeah. Although I do find that hilarious though, I do like that. So do I. It's better with the brush mode because you hear it whining and going up and down. Oh yeah. What's the record I've counted on one of these? On the hot point balancing. I thought it was 18 attempts. Yeah, I think it's alright. WD645. Oh yeah. No. I can just see it and I'm like, that is not gonna spin that. <laughs> I've never had it do this so many times. It doesn't like me. Always when I have someone else around, my machine stopped doing something different. Like the Same. nine, the nine five three zero did that spin. We thought it was going to destroy it. Something didn't even move an inch. Yeah. What was it that time when you were on mine? And it was like, was it the integrate when it wasn't spinning something? Was it? How? Just how? Oh, you had your WD sixty one keep rebalancing. That's right. Yeah. Which we weren't expecting, although we did stick two bath sheets in it, so it was yeah. like, no, we put a bath sheet of mine and something of yours that didn't balance it. Uh, your integrated didn't, it suds locked and it tries to get to 800, and that thing just walks across the kitchen. Like. That was fun. How many sheets did we film that day? We did the WD61, these, 
This is Lucy's grade here. Let me rate 66. That's it. Yeah, oh, come on. That's perfect. Cancelled. Cancelled, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been cancelled. Well, I've seen the candy version of this completely shake itself like to bits, basically, when it was spinning. And it was... Maybe the AAA one, I don't know, but then I think everyone said the six is a sensitive. Mm. Spin cancelled. Wait, a two balance for it to spin? <laughs> yes! Finally. I'm trying to think what machines I know that when they don't balance correctly, or they've spent time balancing, they'll skip part of the burst, they'll just shoot up straight. Yeah. I know the meter, if you pause it on the minimum line final spin, yeah. it will abort the previous burst that it did. It won't redo it. Oh, Jesus. So I can actually effectively get it to go up the 1300 straight away in one go. Oh. I have actually done that before. And create like a massive like, water lock on it. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do that. That's going to be a video I'll do. Final spin, I'll just put a soaking load of towels in there. I'll tell you what I am going to put in the meter again, though. That's a little hand wash. Yes. I've got to do that again. That wash that I did when it just it got to like rinse through and it still couldn't rinse out the inside. That's too fun. That's like when I did a wall cycle but I had slippers. <laughs> oh my god. I'd literally put like not even a quarter of a cap full of liquid in the, it was like a personal liquid or something like that. And it was because of how shit the machine was designed, it was trying to come out of the drawer. But because it was only a Qualtis, it could the drawers behind the thing, so it was just leaking out the door. Oh god. Which I'm surprised didn't bugger up the electrics, to be fair. I thought no idea, funny the thing behind the door. Yeah. I like, was... I'd like to see the extended of a sub -talk. Yeah, oh, well, that'd be I like the fact it's got the flip out program on the door. I quite oh, like that. Yeah, no, I think that's really good. But the door's got the hot point fingerprint thing. I yeah. like that. The, so I'm going to hold here for a little bit longer at 800. Yeah. <sighs> that light's going to probably start rattling. Earthquake! That's what the 8060 calls it. I'm going to Each stage, it ramps off slightly quicker. I've noticed that and what it does. Oh, I love that. Have you watched the full final spin of this? Yes. Right, so you probably not there. Yeah. What's that remind me of the of your race? That's what I'll say. A C set Murray, isn't yeah. it? Probably. When it goes from 800 to 1,000. I love that. I love when it hits 1,000. Normally, on Mendo, you have the door starts trembling on it, and you yeah. hear that. Well, I call it the motorboat sound, that's it. The only machines above 1400 seem to achieve. Motorboat, that's not a funny name at all. I'm just trying to think about what. It's not a helicopter sound, it's like a. Yeah. 1,200 first, possibly. Yeah. 1,012. So it goes 48, 1,012, 16. I like that. So, uh, 1,200. So it does that. Wow. I like how it does a little dip like it does on the... And you actually yeah. see the drum sort of yeah. pull out of alignment. Then it'll go up to 16 now. Well, That's amazing. you got about 30 seconds. No, not even that, actually. About 20 seconds of it. Say the board around now. Mm -hmm. 
Right, attempt two to get this thing up to 1600. Sounds so cool. <laughs> Imagine. Right, there we go. Yeah. That's that sound I'm on about that day, mate. And then you get the soap, the water going around the window. Yep. A soap person. Warm one. Oh, that's actually... It's pretty stable. It's best actually no vibrations about that. Oh. Uh, it's just kind of sure, it's a 1600 dollars to lose a lot of water. I can just hear the, the vibration, but I can't hear anything else. The, the, it doesn't do any anti-crease, it just gets me bent on box itself. I love that. I love how it's a shame the door stays locked. Imagine if you could tell as well. <laughs> Press the door. No. I'll be very worried that did pop open. <laughs> but I like the fact it doesn't need power to open it. Yeah. That is good. Unlike. <coughs> Mila. Like. Actually, service is the same as well. There's another brand, there's another brand of Shelfers. I'm sure they require their doors to be. Do a Bosch as well? Uh, I the hydro sensor, doesn't that require? I'm not so sure on that, you know. And now if you hear the motor to the very end. We'll see how. Uh, I oh. think it's about a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least it's not two minutes like the LG. No, oh, that was like three minutes that used to make you wait. That used to make you wait uh, ages uh. to open it. Yeah, you tell because I always it just will not stop doing that. It will just keep beeping at you. Oh yeah, keep thinking it's that way. But no way, because of course that Mila's... I just and look, Mila's I, it has this on it. Oh, I like that. What is that, to stop you... So it stops it from um, shutting completely. So it's to like air the machine out. And I also think it might help push the door open as well. There you go. You can feel how dry some of that is. Oh Christ, yeah. That's it doesn't even come out of that creased either. No. No, that's it. And even still after, there's like literally no... All the water just drains straight in there because it's that's flat. Good. I like that. I like the other Hoover, the A3060, which has got no drain holes in it at all. Same with the Zanuti Compact. Yeah, so it has to rely on the vibration of the spin to get it out. <laughs> right, guys, that's the... Uh, Charlie is now the first person to see the Hoover 6 in person. Yay! Oh, He's nice. the first, but I wonder who will be the sixth person. I'd say to uh, interact with the machine. <laughs> I'm trying to think what other sort of things. Should be a triple A experience. Triple A experience. But please keep whisper quiet about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start in the inset dryer now. It won't take long at all. No. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.